artist is in Ghana. Saturday morning is the event. He's probably when does he, when do they do the sound check? Same day of the event? Uh, it depends on um, the amount of time you have for setup. If you have the venue for maybe a week, then mm -hmm. you can set up your uh, sound check maybe two days prior, maybe forty eight hours before the event itself. What does it mean to set up sound check? What does it mean? Sound check is exactly how the show is going to be in certain jurisdictions. Oh, it's not sound. In certain we jurisdictions, no, no, say hello in, one, two, one, in certain jurisdictions, sound check is actually what they call technical dress rehearsal. He will sing. He will sing. His dancers will dance. His sound effects, his uh, the videos, everything that will happen on event night happens. Should happen. But we know. But over here, usually we just they hold the microphone. Oh yeah, Charlie, the sound here. Make the snare go up small. Here, make I hear some bass small and all those things. I want to want some artists don't even show up. Well, but it's emotional and it's, it's performance. So yeah. if you ask me to do a dress rehearsal of Good Evening Ghana, it's very difficult. I can't. Yeah, Good Evening the, Ghana. The, the is program not, must start. Then no, I mean, Good Evening Ghana. That and that is why we have a lot of problems with a lot of our concerts here. And sometimes when you watch very well, a lot of the concerts that they do proper rehearsal. They the do better, ah, way better. Because you see, when you do a proper technical dress rehearsal, and it doesn't just include the artist on stage and everything else, in the entire crew, production. the directors, the cameramen, everybody. They know oh, the cameras. So you, the, you, are, you are watching the filming. Everything. So you can tell them that put more light here. Exactly. I want close up when yes. he's doing this in, one. In, 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 when you go to um, South Africa, the UK, US, and other places where they do proper production, when they do that rehearsal, it's actually recorded. When it is done, the entire team sits to watch it. Oh, I see. And, yes. So that's what a Beyonce Before. would do. That is what a Beyonce would do. Mm. That is what Michael Jackson would do. That is, uh, this is it. A number of rehearsals were mm -hmm. done. But the concert never, re, the, the, <laughs> you know, Which one? When he died? Michael like Jackson. That's the last concert that it was going to have. That this is it concert. Ah, yeah, yeah. He, he, had done, he had done quite a done quite So that's a what they showed us. That is mm -hmm. what they do. Yeah. They rehearse over and over. And every rehearsal is recorded. So all those are rehearsals. Do you determine the songs he's going to sing in the contract? It depends. For instance, um, if... It's, um, say, Metro TV that mm -hmm. is hiring a Shatawale to perform. Metro can say, okay, for this particular concert, we want him to perform A, B, C. But also, depending on the weight and, you know, repertoire of the act, he can also say, no, I know the fan base, your target and all those things. I think, I think this song will work. Okay. Mm -hmm. sound all right, so when he comes, when Whiskey is in Ghana, is he not in the con under the control of the event organizers? He was at front back on Friday night. <laughs> Where they did they know? Did they not know? Saturday morning, do they call him? What happens? You can have everything. Mm -hmm. You can be in control of everything. He still won't show up. Artists don't show up for various reasons. I recall, was it 2017 or 2018? The last Ghana Rocks concert organized by Chatao. Mm -hmm. The headline act advertised was Burner Boy. Mm -hmm. He never showed up. We didn't hear. I don't remember that. I think that was when Ghana Rocks came back. Yeah, when Ghana Rocks came, came back. back. And after yeah. that, Ghana Rocks hasn't been no, back. I remember yeah. Shatawale didn't show up for the calf thing. That I remember. Okay. Yeah, this, he explained this, that some money yes, issues. This was yeah. Ghana Rocks. And um, the audience were livid. I was mm -hmm. on stage. People mm -hmm. threw stuff at me on stage. Mm. I remember very well. I was yeah. with Sheila of Zones PR on stage that evening. Yeah, I remember. It was too. at the, the Fantasy the Dome. Dome. Yeah, Trade Fair. They threw stuff at us on stage because they were livid. But, but about it, what was, yes, he was sick. Oh, but that's okay. Was he in the country? Exactly. He wasn't in Ghana at all. You he, was, uh, he was ready to leave Lagos when he was taken ill. Mm -hmm. Look, we had live videos of the yeah. guy with drips and everything on him. They had nurses and doctors. They were just ready to do anything they could. There were private jets on standby just to fly him in and fly him back out. But doctors advised it is not advisable for him to go. It could happen. That's what they call a law. But, but when, did you, get, when did you get to know this? We got to know the day of the concert. The gentleman fell sick hours the night the prior. But that means he was coming to Ghana the same he day. He was coming concert. to Ghana. But that's too late, isn't no, it? No, no, usually. It, Ghana to Nigeria, we do it all the time. Yeah, half an hour. Yeah. You know, oh, they come the same oh, day. Oh, yeah. Usually so 5 p.m. Because yeah. also you, the event planner, how much money now do you have to, to keep them at the Labadi yeah. Beach Hotel or, or La Palma or Kempinski for three, two, four, five days? Yeah. It's not. It's enough. So he's coming the same day, play and go back. So he's coming the same day, play and go back. So you are giving him private jets. You're paying for it. Oh, because he was late. That's why this We needed to get him there. We need it because airlines, it was our. The last flight is about what, 8 Six, p.m. or uh, 7 p.m. or something. It's like too late. That. Yeah, and um, as at 10, 11 p.m., there was still the possibility of him getting here. So the next oh, one. So the concert was, started without you telling He was supposed to be the last act. So he was so supposed to be on stage people. at about midnight. Ah, yeah, I get it. I get you it. Understand? I guess, yeah. So there is that hope. So I don't But think you didn't tell people he's not here. No. Eesh. Usually you don't. But you should have alerted us that he's unwell. So there's a possibility that he may not come. Um, you see, it's, again, tricky. Mm. No event planner sets out to, um, to, to, to defraud 
the audience mm -hmm. or set out to plan a concert and hope that an artist would not show up. No event planner. Mm -hmm. On this whisker thing, I've been hearing rumors about, uh, and they said he wanted the stadium to be filled to a certain yes, capacity. Yes, oh, that's, I was going to come to that. That's going to ask. If truly the event planners agreed that we would fill the stadium to a certain magnitude before you show up, then it was wrong. Because no event planner anywhere in this world can guarantee an audience turn up, no matter what publicity you put in place. Because the variables are too many. Mm -hmm. You're fighting against weather. You're fighting against um, other personal problems. I can buy your ticket and still not show up. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I'm but tired. because something happened. Mm -hmm. You understand? Something happened. I remember our first showing for Run For Your Wife on October 1st. It rained the whole day. Mm -hmm. It rained the whole day, and I got so many messages. George, I have your ticket here. Can I reuse it another time? It's raining at my place. My entire road is yeah, flooded. Yeah, but those what are obvious. Those are the first majority. Those are obvious. So those things, that is one. Somebody yeah. can also say, Charlie, me TMA, I'm in call. Yeah, but that's obvious. Or, oh, Charlie, I mean, Aldebra just invite me to some potato. I like, for pass this whiskey concept, but Charlie, forget. Make I go to my Aldebra and there's some chicken go flu. Mm -hmm. A lot of things can happen. So no event planner can guarantee okay. that I will fill this to this capacity unless you are buying the audience. When you have money, to buy an audience and fill a place. That's a different conversation. But when you are relying on publicity and paid for tickets, and the tickets were not yeah, cheap. Yeah, at, uh, yeah, tickets were high. Yeah, tickets were not cheap. And you're but going is to it possible that. that they told Whiskey? OK, so then Whiskey didn't show. How did he know? Like I said, how did it's he know a rumor. Was not filled? Like I said, it's a rumor. I do not know if mm. that is why he did not show. But in, in Nobody the, knows in, why in he did not show. In the corridors of, let me come to you about but in the corridors of the whispers that you're hearing, what, what happened? So, I mean, nothing clear has been said yet, but from what one of the organizers said on TV today, um, Whiskey did come for sound check. He did? He did, he did come for On the same day? On the, sa on, on, yeah. on the day, he mm -hmm. had been there earlier. And in fact, his people were on the grounds w uh, because they were still waiting. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly around nine, uh, 3 a.m., that's when they received a test saying that he's not coming. Yeah, that's th that nine, ten, 9 p.m. No, 3, 3 a.m. In the oh, morning. 3 a.m. As they were but we should have been on stage before 3 a.m. Way before. So they were all waiting. So at, at the time they were waiting, what was he telling them? He hasn't explained that, but then from, it seems that some of the team were already at the venue, so they were probably giving the assurance he's coming. Some he's of his coming. team, yeah, I hear his DJ was on yeah, the stage. So they were probably giving the assurance that he's coming, he's coming until they had that uh, SM, the test message that. He, he said he's not coming. Uh, he didn't, uh, the guy didn't explain further. He gave it the excuse that they were going to address the issues on their social media handles over the period as and when they pop up. So we still don't know clearly why uh, he didn't show. But, but he's did the organizers not have him in, in their control, like hotel or something? <laughs> well, <laughs> well I, that's a tricky I, I think part. It's at this stage, Whiskey is somebody who it would be difficult, yeah, to, difficult. To, to put together because I think he's, he has his own private property, even in Ghana. So when he comes, conven it's convenient for him to want to stay there with his boys and come as and when. So it, 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 they may not have total control, uh, but like they were saying, at least th there were people on grounds that they were coordinating with say, uh, he's coming, he, bring him and, mm -hmm. uh, and those things until eventually it fell out and di he didn't show up. Hmm. How did they communicate that to the audience? The, the same thing I was... Uh, so my brother was there. Mm -hmm. And so I asked him in the morning, so how did they, how, what did they explain? He said that the, the thing, all they saw that they were packing their things. Mm. <laughs> to yeah, go. They packing their things from the stage. <laughs> they were just packing. But that was dangerous. Were they not inviting violence and, and threats? I, I thought, I heard that too. I thought it was very dangerous. Yeah, but I, I but think somebody then told me that they needed to pack before people start stoning their speakers. Yeah. I, I think also people were not, they, they were not sure whether he's coming, he's not coming. And, uh, so the hours of 1 a.m. to 3, what it, was happening on the stage? They're playing music. Uh, I hear Pokoli, whatever. The DJs were I, there. I, I drove by the place at about 3.30 a.m. They were playing some Bob Marley music. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. people were inside? Yeah, people were leaving. They were leaving? You know, a lot of people had started leaving because um, I, um, I had been at the National Theatre. We were setting up for the play okay. on Sunday. You know, so I left at about 3.30, almost 4 a.m. And when I was driving by the place, I saw people leaving. Mm -hmm. You could see clear disappointment. Mm -hmm. um, somebody I am for one night. <laughs> you know. I mean, one of your videos for Metro went viral. It was yeah. really funny uh, what the concert goers were saying and yeah. also how other people who 
were there were commenting on social are media. Are people getting their money from what you know? Because they said that you should send your tickets and they'll give so you So one person, when he saw my article that they were going to refund, actually requested and also copied me in the email with that request. And I haven't received... Uh, there's not been anything now sure that they've, they've paid. Pay. But at least the system recognized and gave a feedback mm -hmm. uh, no, showing that... They've they, acknowledged they, they've that acknowledged, somebody's asking for their money. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But you see, Paul, it's, it's painful and it's sad. And sometimes we need to feel the pain of event planners. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Event planners are always at the mercy of artists. And it is tough, you know. As I did indicate earlier on, no event planner sets out to, you know, defraud an audience. And um, some may say, you know, refund is enough. I feel bad for Live Nation because, mm -hmm. look, if somebody wants to be very, very difficult, a refund is not enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because oh, refund is not, it's not attending just a refund. It's the a event mm -hmm. is an opportunity cost to whoever attended the Time event. Time, night. Time, night. everything. Mm -hmm. People would actually buy clothes. People would go to the barbers. People mm -hmm. would, somebody who would usually take trotter or say, Charlie, tonight it'd be whiskey, so make a take on <laughs> Uber and pay more and all those things. Look, there are so many things that somebody would invest in mm -hmm. to attend one event. Mm -hmm. So just refunding the cost of that ticket may not cut it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, I mean, artists should try to bear with events. But this video that we are seeing, seeing, it's not that bad. Can you no. open up the video on the TV? This, this, oh. this is your video. But you see, that, that is, uh, you, you keep saying it's not bad because you're looking at an audience. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. If it is left with the audience alone, uh, it, it's, it may be okay mm -hmm. from our perspective. But again, we do not know what conversations were had behind closed doors. We do not know. Again, we all do not know why Whiskit did not show up. I mean, he has given from some the reasons. Apologies, most yeah. of them don't hold water. For instance, saying safety. Yeah, uh, safety. Yeah, and, safety. Uh, yeah. yeah that's what Whiskit don't mentioned. Feel like it, they were, it doesn't. They were, but didn't they go through the safety protocol? No, no. They, they you know, like, live how, uh, they've yeah, responded. They've responded. They well, were, but they said well, so the guy has breached the contract. Yeah, they, they did. Made, yeah. Very clear. They, 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 did. they made it clear. So uh, yeah. uh, for me, like you're saying, organizers shouldn't be at the mercy of. It, 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 they, there they should be a time are. where somebody takes action, sues somebody, it sets the example. Uh, I don't know if maybe the organizers, their books are, are questionable and so they don't want to take legal actions uh, and possibly. be exposed or whatever. But I think it's about time that people really, uh, I mean, it happens abroad. Uh, uh, Mary J. Blige, uh, Neo, a lot of them have been sued. and For not showing up. For not showing yeah. up. Yeah. I, 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 I remember there was one. Mary J. Blige one, she even gave prior notice that she wouldn't be able to make it. But what uh, upset the organizers was the fact that she didn't come, but she went to another, another show. Another show. Oh, happening at yeah. the same time. Happening yeah. at so somewhere else. So that's what angered the person. So it, it's something that happens. But whether, mm. when, once there, there are measures and they, these people don't feel bigger than uh, the law, or even humanity then it took care of that a little bit because i think in the last couple of uh, to, to the extent that indeed abhijan was also expecting him and he he jumped over them and went to benin i mean something is not right it must stop mm. so <laughs> really it's uh, tough uh, it's very complicated it, it is tough and if then i like yeah. how people are comparing the concert that he attended in benin to what was happening here. The audience. The audience, the setup, it's... It was lower. This is yeah. much bigger uh, yeah. a venue and everything. Yeah. So, uh, and the number of people yeah. in Accra yeah, was probably more I've than I've seen Benin. some pictures. I'm guessing it's, it was at the Palais de Congrès. I was there mm. like two weeks ago. And it, it, it's not something you can compare to... The stadium. Uh, the, sta the stadium, the atmosphere yeah. and everything. So, uh, yeah, some of the explanations don't really... Um, <laughs>